Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is a chondroplasia is a form of dwarfism is inherited as dominant condition to dwarfs both of whom had one parent of normal height marry and plan to have a child. Their first child is born and is a dwarf. What is the probability that um, this child is heterozygous? As usual I recommend you to pause video here, try to solve this problem on your own first and when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, uh, one of uh, examples would be actor Peter Dinklage. He has uh, this form of dwarfism. And I would also say that in 80% of the cases, this form of uh, dwarfism caused by uh, de novo mutations. So, most likely his parents are not dwarfs and uh, are normal height. So, uh, as you see, uh, for example, from this picture, he has a wife that is normal height and they has a daughter that is also develops normally. So, I think now I got your interest. I don't have much space left in order to explain this problem but uh, I will try to use this left space uh, in order to show you all the calculations. Once again, this form of dwarfism is caused by dominant allele. So let's now return to our problem. We know that two dwarfs, uh, both of whom had one parent of normal height, and this gives us information that they have to be heterozygous, both of them. They have uh, to get one dominant allele that causes genetic disorder from one of the parent and uh, normal recessive allele from the other uh, parent of the normal height. So uh, this is genotypes of the parents. So we can build a simple Punnett square uh, no matter what the gender on top and uh, what the sex on the side, uh, both of the parents are heterozygous, so probability that they would have uh, normal or affected child, once again, this is not sex related genetic disorder, and the child who is uh, homozygous recessive would be of the normal height, and those who belong to any of these genotypes uh, would show this form of dwarfism. So, uh, some of you may give an answer that uh, if child uh, is a dwarf, so uh, his probability to be heterozygous would be 2 out of 3. But uh, this is not the true answer, because uh, homozygous dominant genotype is lethal condition. So, if we know that child is a dwarf, uh, we can say uh, with 100% uh, assurance that uh, this child is heterozygous. So, our answer would be we sure 100% that the child is heterozygous. And this is going to be our answer today and uh, also probably uh, some of you would wonder uh, uh, if a couple uh, like this one uh, just taking the chances uh, whether the progeny going to be uh, normal or uh, would be uh, affected by this condition nowadays we have uh, many different techniques for example, prenatal um, testing, uh, when a woman is pregnant, she may uh, take at the early stage of the uh, fetus development uh, ultrasound and this condition would be seen. Also, uh, such a couple also may use IVF. This is a technique when uh, uh, we take egg cell, we take sperm, we... Um, Fertilize Excel. Uh, usually, not one Excel is taken, but two, three, or four, and more. 
and then uh, when uh, such Excel would uh, start to divide, one cell can be taken for the uh, testing and only those embryos that uh, don't have this dominant allele can be used for transfer. And uh, also, uh, if a uh, person is already born, can be something done or not, uh, there is different treatments. For example, uh, one of them can be hormone treatment with uh, human growth hormone, somatotropin. Another variant would be uh, to use uh, apparatus of Yelizaryev. Uh, this is Russian surgeon who invented this method to stretch bones of uh, those people who want them to stretch or uh, on the first place uh, he invented uh, this apparatus for very difficult uh, cases when uh, bones broken in many places so you have to assemble bone so uh, different uh, as you see variants uh, exist to treat this uh, genetic disorder uh, prenatal and postnatal so this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye